Mathematical notation has always created a challenge for Moodle and other learning management systems. Until now, what we've done is used external plugins such as Weeris to input to allow us to input math notation into our HTML blocks or pages or whatever uh, whatever resources that we're using that require math notation. They were great, and I've used them without any issues and much and I've always been very pleased with them. But now, since Moodle 2.7, we can actually input math notation directly into our Moodle pages or Moodle uh, books or whatever HTML blocks that we have using the built-in equation editor. And, this, and in this video, we're going to actually demonstrate the use of that editor. And that editor makes use of a uh, rendering um, JavaScript known as MathJax. And that's why I've called this a MathJax demo. We could have said it was the equation editor demo or whatever. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a page and we're going to use this page to actually write some mathematical notation using the editor. So uh, the first thing we do is you always want to, down here in this HTML blocks, you always want to expand the toolbar using the show more buttons uh, toggle here so that you see this second line of tools and you'll see straight away this one here is the equation editor. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you it's the equation editor. And so we click on that. And when we do that, we see that we come to our equation editor that gives us four choices of things that we can use. Operators, arrows, Greek symbols, and advanced. And advanced gives us all of these additional tools that we can, that we can use if we don't just want to use um, the basic operations of add, divide, etc., etc. Good, so let's try it out. I'm going to do something simple and I'm going to use one of the operators, the divide sign, that's particularly challenging using a normal text editor. So let's just do something really simple. 16 divided by, so I'm going to click on the divide sign, and you'll notice this code comes up here, backslash div, and that's the actual MathJax code, or really the, the text the tech code that is being rendered by MathJax. And down here at the bottom, you see a preview that shows you how your equation is going to look when you actually display the, 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 the page on your Moodle site. This arrow here is just to indicate where the next character is going to be placed and will not actually be inserted uh, in your page. So uh, 16 divided by 4 equals... Four. Now, I want you to note that I put a space in between the 16 and the divided by, but note that exactly the same spacing is shown um, between the 16 and the divided by and the divided by and the 4, even though I didn't put a space on the 4. Similarly, for the equal sign, it's spaced evenly between these two, and even if I put a space there, it won't change. Okay? You move the cursor back here. The spacing remains the same, even though when I, were, when I was typing in, I put a space here and didn't put a space there. So, straightforward. Let's input that one. And notice when we input it, it shows you actually how that tech code should be written. And what we, in order to write that tech code, what we do is we just put a backslash and a bracket, and that tells the, the Moodle... Um, the, the Moodle HTML that we're using the MathJax renderer to render that tech um, coding. Let's try another one. Let's go back into the equation editor. Let's try something a little more complicated. Let's use something. Let's do a fraction. Fraction is always another challenging one. So we said it's not here. It's on the advanced page. So I'm just what I'm going to do is go ahead and this is it here because you have the A over the B plus C. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And in that numerator, I'm going to put um, 15. And in the denominator, I'm going to put 
17. And if you look down below, you just simply have 15 seventeenths. And notice that the arrow is presently right next to the 17 in the denominator because I still have the cursor up here inside these curly braces. So if I were to put minus x, you'll notice that the minus x appears in the denominator. However, if I were to delete that and put the cursor outside of the curly braces and put minus x out here, note that the minus x appears in uh, by itself, outside of the fraction down here. So I just click Save. And let me put a carriage return in there so that they don't get bunched up together. And then let's actually look at the page to see how it will show when we render it in Moodle. Save and display. And there it is. You have the first... Oh, I must have done them the wrong way around. Anyway, whichever. So you have the fraction one, and you have the division one here as well. Note that there is this vertical line displayed at the end of the equation or the expression. That's an issue with older versions of MathJax and Chrome. Newer MathJax versions get rid of that, and in another video, I'm going to show you how you can do that yourself. Or if you, um, if you have a problem with that, you could just go ahead and use Firefox or Safari, and it'll work just fine. But uh, for Chrome, the built-in version of MathJax that's in Moodle 3.0, which is what I'm using, uh, still renders that vertical line. Later versions, I'm sure, will use the more, more up-to-date version of MathJax and get rid of it. But uh, if you don't want to see it, just switch to another... Uh, another browser or watch my future videos to show you how you can get rid of that vertical line yourself. So that's the Moodle equation editor. Remember, let's just go over the steps on how to use it. You first of all expand to show more buttons and click on the equation editor, and then just go ahead and edit your equation. That's all there is to it. I hope this helped. Have a good day.